What's up YouTube? It's Dylan from Super Team Buddy Force Unite here, and today it is the start of episode 2 of Sealed Only. Now, last week we opened up our structure decks and we got some dual devastator to help make it better. Then, after the tournament, we got a little bit of prizing and were able to open up three packs of Battles of Legends Heroes Revenge. So, with inside those, we were able to get cards like Almirage and Lambda. Now, we won't be using Lambda, but Almirage will be able to help us until we can get Link Karibo. This week, we're opening up the 2019 Gold Sarcophagus Tin and five packs of Hidden Summoners. Now, the reason we're opening up these is the 2019 Gold Sarcophagus Tin contains Vampire Sucker, which is crucial to helping our deck compete against today's meta. And inside Hidden Summoners, there are two cards we're looking for. We are looking for Rivalry of Warlords, which will also help us compete against today's meta, as well as Shirinui Spirit Master, which we also need for our deck. So, that's pretty much it. Let's get opening. We're going to start with the five packs of Hidden Summoners. First pack. We got Prank Kids Weather Washer. Shirinui Spectral Sword can go in our deck, but we would much prefer our Spirit Master instead. Prank Kids Rocket Ride, Awaking of Nephthys, and a Yuki Ona the Ice Mayakashi. On to the next pack. Ritual Foregone. Thunder Dragon, Matriarch of Nephthys, Prank Kids Fancies, and Suchigono the Poisonous Mayakashi. Hand of Nephthys, Night End Sorcerer, D Synchro, Prank Kids Prank, and Disciple of Nephthys. We have two packs left. Hopefully we can get at least one copy of Rivalry of Warlords. Prank It's Prank. Defender of Nephthys. Rebirth of Nephthys. Prank It's Fancies. And Shafu the Wield Mayakashi. This is our last pack. Hopefully we can get one copy of Rivalry of Warlords. Prank Kids Pandemonium. Flash Fusion, Matriarch of Nephthys, Preparation of Rites, and Prank Kids Place. Okay guys, that's it for the Hidden Summoners. Unfortunately, we did not pull any Rivalry of Warlords, but we did pull Shirinui Spectral Sword, which isn't exactly what we wanted, but we can still try incorporating it into our deck to help make it a little bit better. Now, let's go into the 2019 Megatons. Fingers crossed that we can actually pull Vampire Sucker. Okay, we will start with the promo. Our first card is Red Eyes Alternative Black Dragon. Then we have Blue Eyes Alternative Ultimate Dragon, Raigeki, Slifer the Sky Dragon, and Nibiru the Primal Being. So this is actually going to help us a lot. Nibiru is a very powerful card in today's meta, and we will definitely be playing this in our side deck. Let's get on to the packs. Got Ostinato. Cluster Congester, Salamangre Emerald Eagle, Gravekeeper's Headman, Psychic Ace, Interrupt Resistor, Revenge Red Executor, Danger Chupacabra, Beat Bladesman for Hire, Realm of Danger, Crusadia Vanguard, Vampire Awakening, Vampire Red Baron, Crusadia Regulex, Background Dragon, and Crusadia Power. 
So I'm actually excited that we pulled the danger because we can play the dangers in our deck, but we probably want more dangers than just one copy of Chupacabra. Heartless Drop-Off, Cybrosal Cyclone, Sky Shiker Mecha Modules Multi-Roll, Dragoonity Sinitus, Venja Nightmare, Predapant Drago Stapelia. So this is actually a very good card for us because we are going to be playing Super Poly and Drago Stapelia is a very good Super Poly target against Thunder Dragons. We've also got Great Fly, Salamangrate Heat Leo, Herald of the Abyss, and Altergeist Kidolga. And we'll just look through the rest of these because I don't think any of these are going to be helping us at all. Okay, this is our last pack. Let's fingers crossed that we can get that vampire sucker. Patchwork Fluffle, Thunder Dragon Discharge, Hasty Haired, Red Haired Hasty Horse, Performer Pal, Hand Samurai, -ger. Concentrating Current, Dampier Vampire Shiridan, Dulil Chimera, Thunder Dragon Dark, and Danger Thunderbird. Okay, unfortunately, we were unable to pull Vampire Sucker. We Witch's Apprentice, Watch Cat, Thunder Dragon Matrix, Zero Extra Link, Monster Reborn Reborn, Dompha, and Rafael Champion for Hire. So, unfortunately, we were unable to pull Vampire Sucker this week, but we did get some good cards that will hopefully be incorporated into our deck to make it better. So I'm going to take a look at all of the cards that we just pulled and I'm going to change the deck around to see if we can make it more consistent and I'll show you guys right now. Okay guys, this is what we're going to play at the UDS on Sunday. So we'll start with the main deck. The main deck is now 41 cards. I'm playing 3 Unizombie, 3 Solitaire, and the 1 Spectral Sword. Then we're going to play 3 Zombie Master, 2 Glow Bloom, 2 Banshee, 2 Baller Drop. I upped Mizuki to 3, and 2 Gozuki, 1 Red Eye Zombie Dragon, 2 Ash, and then 1 of each of the dangers that we pulled. Onto the spells, we're running 3 Zombie World, 2 Book of Life. 2 Call by the Grave, 2 Cosmic Cyclone, 1 Monster Gate, 1 Call of the Mummy, 1 Foolish Burial, 1 Metaverse, and 2 Solemn Strikes. So I moved the Solemn Strikes and the Cosmic Cyclone from the side deck into the main deck, mainly because I wanted to remove some of the zombies that weren't doing anything, and I felt like since we want to go first, it made sense to put in Solemn Strike. And since we didn't really have any spell or trap removal, we also put in Cosmic Cyclone. We'll go on to the extra deck. We're running the one Draco Sapelia, We Witch's Apprentice, Lanferincus, two Underclock Taker, one Decode, one Gaia, one Saryuja, one Bomber Dragon, the one All Mirage. Tornado Dragon, Dweller, two of the Red Eye Zombie Necro Dragon, and the one Suchigomo. The reason that I play Suchigomo is because even though it is a level 5, I read its effect and it could potentially come in handy. It basically says that if our Necro Dragon is destroyed by Battle or Card Effect, he gets summoned out and then mills the top 3 cards of each deck. And I thought we weren't really using that all three Necro Dragons, so why not? Now onto the side deck. We're running two Didi Crow, two Ghost Bell, two Lancia, and the one Nibiru. Then we're running the two Super Poly, two Mind Control, the one Herald of the Abyss, the one Regeki, and two Heavy Storm Dusters. So yes, it's 41-15-15. This is the deck that we are going to play for the UDS on Sunday. And I will see you guys there.
It is too cold. Okay guys, uh, it's the morning of the UDS. It is freezing outside and uh, we're gonna head over there. Okay guys, uh, before we go in, uh, I just wanted to quickly talk to you guys about the store they're going to. So, uh, in the last video, you guys saw me going to Fusion Gaming. That's one of our three OTS shops here in Winnipeg. And the second one I'm going to, which is the one that's holding the UDS, is Galaxy Comics. Galaxy Comics is actually the first OTS store I ever went to when I was like 10 years old. So, a little bit of a of nostalgia here. Let's go register. Okay guys, I'm back from the UDS qualifier and what an event it was. I'm gonna quickly go through what happened today because I wasn't able to film at the event due to there being a second event going on at the same time. So space was really crowded and I just wasn't able to film, but I was able to get each of my opening hands for each game. So hopefully you guys enjoy seeing that. So round one, we played against True Dracos. It ended up being a really interesting game because Zombie World stopped them from summoning out their monsters. Round two, we play the Zombie Mirror Match, except our opponent had all the cards that we need, like Vampire Sucker, Avenger Slayer, and so on. But we were able to take the win. This was mainly because we were able to stop our opponent from getting their Valor Drock on the field, and because game two, we totally sacked him by playing Regeki going second. Round three, we ended up playing against Salamangrate, which worked out surprisingly well for us considering we lost to Salamangrate twice last week. Zombie World stopped them from going into Bay Lynx, and our Ballardrock was able to stop them from going off. Round five, we played against Orcus. This was our first loss of the day. I don't know what it is about Orcus, but I just can't win. That was it for Swiss. We ended up going second place after Swiss, and then there was Top Cut. First round of Top Cut, I ended up playing against Salamangre again. This was the first game all day that made it to game three. It was very interesting, a lot of back and forth grinding. Ended up drawing the one Nibiru and using it on them. Then, for the semi-finals of Top Cut, I got the buy. I don't know how this happened. Apparently, two of the players who were playing against each other in Top Cut both left. So I didn't have an opponent for round for the second round of Top Cut, which means I got the buy. And round three, we played against Mech Knight Invoked, which was piloted by our good friend Dylan James. If you guys want to see his deck profile, we put it in the description below. At the end of it all, we ended up getting second place. We got the lanyard and the pin. It was really fun. And honestly, I, we did a lot better than I thought we were going to today, mainly because we went three X3 last week at our locals, and I did not expect to get this far in the UDS qualifier. So tomorrow is our locals. Like last time, it's time for me to get a good night's sleep. I'd also like to give a quick shout out to Galaxy Comics for hosting the UDS event. The staff was super friendly. Shout out to them. So yes, we will see you guys tomorrow when Dom and I are on our way to locals.
Okay guys, I'm back home and it's time to give my overview of the tournament and boy was it rough. There were five rounds and we went X4. I don't know what it was about today, but we just could not seem to win. Uh, so I'll go through the rounds. I have huge thanks to Fusion Gaming for having the space and allowing me to film our matches. So round one, we played against Salads. It went okay for the first game, but we just could not secure the win. Uh, we just weren't able to gra get the right cards. Round two, we played against Trap Trick. And game one, we ended up going for 30 minutes because we were in a back and forth game where there was a there could be only one on the field and our opponent had Utopia the Lightning and we just kept on summoning Ballard Rock to the field. But once they were able to pop all three of our Unizombies and they just had so many negates because of all their back row, we weren't able to get the top. Round three, we played against probably one of our worst matchups and that would be Sky Striker. Especially the fact that we don't have rivalry, Sky Striker was very hard to play against. We ended up winning one of the games, but we just weren't able to do it. Round 4, we played against Pendulums, and they were running the Rocket Link. We ended up 2 0 them, and huge shout out to my opponent, who actually has his own YouTube channel. His name's Leo. Uh, thanks for the awesome match, Leo. His channel will be in the description below. Round 5, we played against True Dracos, and sadly, this time we were not able to get rid of the diagram in time. Anytime we got out Zombie World, they were able to pop it. It felt pretty strange getting second at a UDS qualifier one day and then going X4 at our locals the next. Maybe it was just my luck, maybe I was tired, I don't know. But hopefully we do better next time. Next week I believe it's only our locals, but we will be opening up another Gold Sark tin and some more Hidden Summoners, so hopefully we can get Spirit Master, Rivalry, Vampire Sucker, which we really need, as well as things like Vampire Fraulein. Before I head off, I just want to give a huge thanks to Galaxy Comics and Fusion Gaming for allowing me to film and for hosting the events. I also want to thank you guys for being so supportive on our last video. Since we uploaded that video, we've over doubled our subscribers and we will always be thankful for that. If you guys enjoyed, well, there will be another episode next Friday. Please like, comment, subscribe, follow us on our social media, links in the description below, and we'll see you next time.